A gruesome discovery in a San Francisco apartment. A headless body found floating in a fish tank. The apartment belongs to a man who's been missing for weeks. Neighbors tell us that they've called police, but nothing came of their concerns until police officers finally went inside. There they discovered human remains two weeks ago in the apartment on Clara Street in the Soma neighborhood. KPI X5 Susie Steimel spoke to neighbors who'd been fearing the worst. Susie? Well, Liz and Ken, Brian Egg's neighbors have been worried sick about him since they last saw him in June. They describe him as a fixture in the neighborhood, and they say that he often let transients stay in his home, and they were worried about his well-being. Well, now Brian Egg is the center of a homicide investigation. I was suspicious already, and, and not just me, lots of other people too. It's a mystery south of Market in San Francisco. Police confirm a handless, headless body was discovered inside a fish tank at 228 Clara Street. The body was so badly decomposed, police couldn't identify the sex. Scott Free worries it's the man who owns the home, his friend and neighbor, 65-year-old Brian Egg. They're not officially saying that it, that it is him, but I would, I would be so surprised if it turned out to be someone else. Scott started sounding the alarm on this months ago. He also called police asking for a wellness check. Police say they performed three separate wellness checks, but since no one answered the door and circumstances didn't appear suspicious, they didn't request a search warrant or ever go inside. We don't just break down doors every time someone reports that someone is missing. But you had family and neighbors saying over and over again at that time that they thought he was dead. I don't have information that said that, that they thought that he was dead, just that there was, there was uh, people that were coming and going and they hadn't seen him. It wasn't until a crime scene cleanup truck arrived in front of Brian's home that police finally went in. If we hadn't said anything, would it have just been ignored all this time? And the police didn't seem to take much interest at, at first. Reporters asked police that very question. If neighbors hadn't been so persistent, would they have found the body by now? We, we, we might not. That's correct. And that's where you usually rely on family or someone to let you into the place. Police did arrest two persons of interest for financial crimes, identity theft, and homicide. But the DA discharged the case pending further investigation, so they had to let at least one of them go. The other one's being held currently in Alameda County. Uh, and the uh, uh, police are waiting for the medical examiner to identify the body. Ken. Yeah, Susie, uh, you first learned about this missing individual several weeks ago and asked the police about it. Uh, what did they tell you back then? Well, that's right, Ken. The neighbors who've been so concerned about Brian Egg's well being actually reached out to us. And then we reached out to police on August 6th and said, Is there any in investigation going on? Is there a missing persons case open? They told us no. They told us today on August 7th, one day later, they opened an investigation. Interesting. Susie Steinle reporting live from San Francisco. Thank you, Susie.